welcome back to Packer Avenue. In our search to bring you good, tasty, delicious stuff, uh, we happened to find this really great street food, Greek street food place right on the Kudon. Uh, it's called Leonidas. Uh, we're going for the pita trifecta today. So please come along on the adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you tell a friend. I'm hungry, it looks good. Well, I wish you could be here and you could really smell what's going on in this place. Uh, it's been a long time since we've indulged in the Greek uh, cuisine lately. And today we're doing basically the pita trifecta. Uh, we're bringing you the regular pita, the gyro pita. And uh, that's the pork version. You can get it chicken or pork. So we've got the regular gyro and we've got on the menu, it's called Suzuki, S-O-U-Z-O-U-K-I. And they've had that in two different variations. So we got the plane to start off with, but they also have one, the Suzuki Philadelphia. Now, no play on words and no Philly cheesesteak or anything like that. It's minced meat, seasoned minced meat. Uh, my understanding, lots of garlic, cumin, thyme, mint, lemon. Had this on the street in the Plata in Greece years ago. Uh, little family vacation, I was like in high school, but delicious stuff right off the grill into the pita. Great looking tzatziki on here. I'm doing the tzatziki also with the Philadelphia. That's the Philadelphia cream cheese. And that's something here in Germany. Any kind of cream cheese, they just call Philadelphia. And so that's in the mixture. I'm looking forward to that. I think that might um, give it probably a little bit more moist quality. Like, I don't know if any of you out there make meatballs and you include like a little bit of ricotta cheese. It helps keep it a little bit moist. Or if you use wet bread instead of breadcrumbs. Again, the moisture issue. We're going to sandwich that gyro with the tzatziki pita and the tzatziki philly, or Philadelphia. The beautiful warm off the grill pita, fresh pita, obviously. A lot of tzatziki in that bite, but that's beautiful. A lot of garlic flavor in that. Um, it's one of my favorite sauces, additions, especially in Pito or Greek. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A big shout out to the crew here at Leonidas. Um, very, very friendly. Um, they've been great hosts or gasgivers, as they say in, in Berlin. Past the delicious tzatziki and into the real bite. Mm. It's been a really, really long time since that trip to Greece to Athens, but this tastes almost straight off the clock. Though. Really, really delicious. I really can't believe that it's taken me this long to actually find this place. I've been past here thousands of times. It's right on the corner of the Kudam at an hour Uban station. But it's kind of sandwiched in. There's a, there's a little bakery on one side, there's a smash burger on the other side, and it just kind of, it almost gets lost, but it's, there's always so many people out here in front of the store usually. It's like, it's kind of a fall day. Um, it's not particularly real warm outside, but people are out there enjoying the outside on the corner on the Kudam, and it's just a nice little quiet place to bring this to you today. We got the... You see the fries are just constantly being made. They're very, very fresh. They're made in very small batches. It's, I think, the official way to do this, because I've seen a number of euros and they have the, fr the fries included in it. It's like, like a full meal in a, in a pita. Another good mixed bite. I love tzatziki. So that tzatziki is a special bite. Uh, again, it's street food. That's why we're here. It's like this Greek fast food place right on the Kudam really offering up some good stuff and they always have like a big crowd out here. Okay, so a small change in plan. Uh, we were going to do tzatziki uh, separate. We were going to sandwich the uh, real, the gyro in between, but because that's so fresh, I want to really see if we can tell the difference or what the difference might be in the two of them. So, peeling it back, Gunner style. Okay, 
Okay, so slightly different look to it. At first, I thought it was had like uh, different seasoning coming from the inside out, but it looks like it was just sprinkled with a little bit of paprika, maybe, or maybe a little bit of hot chili. Hard to tell. I'm gonna test with the uh, potato tester. A little paprika for color to, to differentiate. I imagine if they uh, are put, they look almost exactly the same. Just going for the taste and see what the Philadelphia does to it. First bite again. A tzatziki garlic filled bite with the tomato and lettuce. Really nice, all by itself. But we didn't get to the star yet. With that slightly out of the way. Hmm, now I understand. Not only does it make it moist, it's like wet inside. So Philadelphia is literally stuck inside. That's a very, very nice touch. This has the, um, it's almost like a stuffed pepper, you know, like, you know, stuffed with cheese, and this has just got the Philadelphia inside. This is a delicious combination. So nice, it's bleeding out from the middle. That's such a great idea. And it's such a, and a great taste. Really, really delicious. And last but not least, we've got the actual, the gyro in the pita bread. Finishing off the trifecta. And this is the pork gyro version of this. There are uh, options for chicken or pork. Pork is my favorite. Good. Nice shaved meat off the vertical spit. Dooner style, okay, but not dooner in taste at all. Delicious, tender, moist, but still crispy uh, pork taken from that vertical spit. Oh man. It doesn't get any better than that. Nice pork taste, nice season. So Leonidas is like a hot tip on the kudam. Very nice variation from the Duner. I mean, you can find Duners just about anywhere. Uh, Greek options are far fewer, more in the terms of restaurants, but this really hits the uh, fast food note for me, really. You have so many different offerings and that tsutsuki with the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese inside. I keep saying Philadelphia, right? But just the, with that cream cheese inside, it's such a great option. That's a packed, delicious bite. So this gyro is packed with meat and packed with flavor. Uh, beautiful. Street food option, Greek street food option. So winner, winner, gyro dinner in a pita. So thanks a lot for joining us here on Packer Avenue. And I hope that you enjoyed the uh, pita trifecta that we did today at Leonidas. Again, a big shout out to the crew here. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you tell a friend. And we'll see you next time here in Berlin on Paco Avenue.